YouTube friends and neighbors. Uh, today I have a short box of comics. That's a mystery box that I bought online. All right. Oh, it's heavy. Uh, I just got it in the mail. I uh, I paid eighty five dollars for it and uh, kind of don't know what's inside. I mean, I saw a few pictures in the listing, so I saw some Silver Age mixed in and some. Uh, it's Copper Age, Thor's, and a few things I kind of know, but I think I only saw about 20 comics out of the whole box in the listing. So, uh, this is exciting. <laughs> We're going to see what's inside. I, I, uh, whew, I don't even know what's in here. Uh, so what is that? A long, I mean, a short box as well. 150-ish comics, $85. So I paid like 55, 60 cents each about. So let's see what's in here. This is going to be fun. All right, first comic book. We got a cross-gen Mirrodin 4. Okay, that's not nothing too exciting. So uh, if they go like that, it'll be a, a bust of a box. All right, comic number two. Oh, no, more Mirrodin. I mean, I like the artwork on the cross-gen, but they're cheap. And I am trying to put a set together, but... Okay, I guess there's a little stack of these in here. Uh, I really, I don't know what's in this lot, so it's it's all a surprise. Okay, we got a Punisher, number 61. That's cool. We got a uh, X-Men Wedding Album. I'm not sure what that is. Let's take a look. Just like a large size comic book of some sort. Not sure. I mean, it looks cool. Okay, that's cool. That's a little bit better than the first few things. Alright, let's see what's next. Alright, I guess there's a whole run of these. <laughs> it really is a mystery lot. I, I don't know what's in here. Uh, hopefully there's a few things that make up for these. Uh, there's a whole bunch of these Meriden. Or Meridian. I mean, the covers are kind of cool. All right. I think there's more. Of the, yep. All right. There's a bunch of these. Oh, I sound a little disappointed. It's I'm not disappointed. I just I want to find something super exciting. Okay. Let's find the next comic book. Uh, what was that? A Before Watchmen comic? That's cool. It says it's 1999. Was that like... Uh, Alternative comic cover. I gotta look that up. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Amanda Connor, and it says that this is a one in twenty five variant. It's like a ten dollar comic book. Okay, that's cool. All right, score. <laughs> well, thumbs up. All right, see, that's why I like mystery lots because you never know what you're gonna get, and it just takes one comic like that to, you know, change the day. Okay, the Croft Super Show. It looks like it's pretty beat up, but it's, I mean it's cool. Leave it there. All right, let's. What's next? Come on, mystery. Okay, cool. Time warp number one. That's a good late bronze, early copper comic. Uh, Quicksilver number ten. Uh, Peanuts Dell comic. Not in too bad. I mean that's cool. Is that? Bronze or silver? I mean, it's 50 cent cover, but it's 1961, so Silver Age Peanuts. That's really cool, and I love the cover. Wow, that's awesome. Go put that in the. Wow, that's awesome pile. Okay, score. Ah, oh, I love Snoopy, and I love that cover. That's really cool. Okay, more of the new Croft Super Show. Okay, so I guess the box of stuff was some of that cheap stuff at the beginning, but now we're handling some of the Bronze Age stuff. Uh, okay, that's not in the best shape. Amazing Man, number seven. Kind of a cheapo comic. Uh, another one of these Croft Super Show comics. Beat up as well. Uh, the Amazing Chan, Chan Clan, Hanna-Barbera comic. It's cool, but it's got a big chunk out of it. That's a shame. Uh, Amazing Man, number five. Okay. <clears throat> 
We got Amazing Man number eight. These are quarter damaged. Number six. Okay, so so far two really awesome finds and a bunch of kind of mediocre stuff. But still, I mean, I'm only I'm a small small little bit through the box. So uh, another before Watchmen. Okay, that's just a regular cover, worth a dollar or two. Nothing too exciting. Okay, number two. Again, the regular cover. I mean, it's a cool cover. I think I have that one already, though. Uh, this is... Let's see, another Amanda Connor cover. The, that's the regular cover. Uh, this is like a dollar or two. I mean, nothing too exciting. I think I have that one already. But I had to double check, see if it was a variant. Because, I mean, I did find the one variant so far. Uh, coverless comic. Er, but then we got a Web of Spider-Man number one. Okay, I'm going to put that in the cool pile. It doesn't look too bad. It looks like a like a fine plus, very fine minus. It's not that bad. That's actually pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's see some more. Got another time warp number four. This one's in ratty condition though. Okay. Next comic book. Uh, another time warp number four. This one looks in much better condition. That's cool. And, uh, okay, this is um, one of the Silver Age ones I saw in the listing. Uh, I don't think it's worth that much. Maybe four or five bucks in this condition. Maybe more. I'm not sure. But still very cool. I love getting Silver Age comics for cheap. And remember, I paid 50, 60 cents a piece. I mean, I am getting a lot of cheaper junk, though. So I'll bump the price up. But still, it's exciting. All right, number 18. No, 13. I don't know numbers on these, but another Silver Age comic. Very cool. Okay. Those ones I did see in the listing picture. And Toka Jungle King. Interesting cover. Uh, it looks water damaged, though. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, here's another large... It's like a Toko Pebbles comic book. Flintstones comic book. It's really large size. It must have came free in a box of cereal or something. That's... I, I don't know if that's worth anything, but that's kind of interesting to me. I like oddball, interesting, cool... I don't know if it's easy, if it's hard to find, and that's awesome. Okay, let's see. We got Wolverine 76. Oh, uh, Daredevil 196. I love that cover. I'm going to put that in that kind of cool pile. Okay. I'm randomly grabbing here. Oh, uh, wait, let me just show you the top of this box. See, we're barely through it. We already found some treasure. Oh, this is fun. Uh, Marvel Team Up 117, Wolverine and Spider-Man. Okay, that's very cool. It's a little bit torn up there, but I'm gonna put that in the cool pile. Not that the other stuff's not cool, just the stuff that um, is more exciting to get I think there's two comics in this one. But just two Marvel Comic Presents, 74 and 59. Got Thor 300. That's kind of cool. I did see some uh, Copper Age, late Bronze Age Thors. Uh, I don't think they're worth a whole ton buck or two, but still I'm excited to get them. Oh, X-Men 153. That's cool. It's a little bit damaged, but I didn't know there was any X-Men in the lot. See, that's... That's why I love Mystery Lots. You never know what you're going to find because uh, sometimes people just sell stuff like this because they're trying to get rid of it. And they don't list it very well. Okay, another Toka Jungle King Silver Age. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to start working on the other pile because it's falling over. Uh, cage 18. Cage 16. I don't think these have gone up even after the show, but maybe... I haven't really looked them up. Cage number four. Uh, cage number two and cage number three. Okay. Uh, cage number one. Thunder Strike number five. Okay. Whew. It's hard to lift them out of the box and show them. <laughs> Thunder Strike number 17. Daredevil 306. Uh, Iron Fist and Wolverine number four. 
Invincible Iron Man number 12. Uh, Power Man Iron Fist, the last issue, 125. That's cool. Go put that in the cool pile. I think that's worth a little bit. Iron Fist and Wolverine, number one. I guess it's a four issue miniseries. Wonder if the whole set's in there. Uh, there's number three, although that one's a little bit ratty. Uh, Heroes for Hire, number nine. That one's kind of beat up. Uh, number 12. Looks really worn. Number 15, uh, not too bad. Okay, the, let's see, I guess the, the, the meh, not so great pile is about 70%, and then 30% is kind of like the cooler, harder to find, or rarer, or more valuable comic books. Uh, Ghost Rider 22, Ghost Rider number 45, Ghost Rider. Was that 51? Ghost Rider number 54. I don't think any of these are worth too much. Uh, Blaze number four. Okay, I'm gonna grab a stack. Make it a little easier to go through these. Okay, we've got uh, Street Wolf number two. Uh, New Universe DP7 number six. Judo Master, Bronze Age. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to put that in the cool pile. Oops. Just because it's interesting and different. I don't think it's worth that much. But uh, Steel Sterling, number four. All-Star Squadron, number 62. Centurions, number three. Firestorm, number two. Uh, Madam Xanadu, number one. That's actually kind of cool. I'm going to put that in the cool pile. Earth Shaking Stories DC Special Presents, number 18. Okay, that's cool. It's not in too bad a shape. It's like a fine minus, maybe. I like that. I'm going to put that in the cool pile. Uh, Blaze, number one, number two, and number three. Okay, so far... Uh, I think the, the lot's looking pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with what I've found so far out of this box. We're about to hit the halfway mark. Okay, Amazing Spider-Girl uh, trade paperback. That's cool. I didn't expect any trade paperbacks in there, so that's really cool, actually. And Spider-Man and the Black Cat. Another trade paperback. Very excited for that. Okay, this is a raw-eyed kid, but it looks like there's two comics in here. This is such a random lot. I don't. It doesn't look like I was a collector or just someone who had random comics. So Royal, Royal High Kid 148 and 149. Uh, nothing too exciting there. Uh, She-Hulk number 30. My the Psychic Girl number 16. And uh, My the Psychic Girl number 18. Star Wars General Grievous number 2 of 4. That's kind of cool. Uh, Gru Chronicles. I think I have that already. Uh, Dick Tracy book. Henry V. Alright, we're getting into kind of some junky comics. Uh, I mean, they're so cool. I just There's the kind of stuff you can pick up for 50 cents or less most places. Ultraverse. Excalibur, number 14. Detective 666. It's kind of beat up, though. And a Shadowhawk. Okay, let me move these. Whew. It makes me tired when I go through all these comics, but it's exciting. There okay, we got a Fantastic Four cover and <laughs> nothing else. Oh, there's the issue, I think. Oh, <laughs> this tricked me for a millisecond. It's the... Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129 reprint. I just saw one second. I almost got excited, but because it's kind of beat up, so I thought because it's beat up, it was the original, but it's the reprint. In that condition, it's not really worth anything. <laughs> you tricked me. Okay, Amazing Spider-Man 509. It looks a little beat up. Blazing Combat. Number two on that. 
Uh, free comic book day comic. Not sure what that is. Uh, Simpson comics kind of bad shape. Uh, some beat up Archie comics. Archie, Archies are always beat up. It's hard to find Archies not beat up. They were well read. The kids read them, so I guess that was good. Archie, more Archie, more Archie, more Archie. I don't really it's, usually stick to silver and bronze age for Archies. Occasionally, well, if I like to cover odd, some of the more modern stuff. I and mean, I guess this is late bronze. I'm talking about like, you know, the 20 cent covers and less. Uh, Sentry, it looks like there's a set of these. Not a set, but four or five of them all stuck together. Come on, really wrap these together. Sentry number five, four, three, and two. I think I have those already. I mean, they're cool, but I have them. Uh, Wrestling magazine comic, wrestling comic, uh, Sons of Anarchy, Justice League 3000, number one, Incredible Hulk 623, that one's kind of beat up, beat up, um, so far, okay, I'm about two thirds of the way through, uh, not finding as much good stuff, but, uh, you know, overall, it's still pretty good, oh, all right. Let's grab another handful. Okay, we got uh, Illustrated Story of Great Explorers. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Old school comic book. Homer the Happy Ghost. We've got some Golden Age in here. I mean, it's in bad shape, but that's still really cool. Uh, it looks like the cover's attached. It's just really tattered and a little chunk out, but cool. Uh, we got Dennis the Menace television special. Kind of beat up, but that's still cool. I like the old stuff. The old stuff is really what I'm looking for. That's why I buy these lots. If I see old stuff in it, I'll buy it just for a chance to maybe get something really valuable. Or just to fill my collection with older stuff that normally, you know, if you go to a comic shop, they're going to charge two, three, five, ten dollars a piece. Uh, Hellboy. Wanted number six. Uh, wanted Wizard Ace Edition. It's in bad shape. It might be worth something, but... Uh, General Grievous, number four. A reprint of Adventure 247 in tattered shape. Okay, so we got a stack of Archies here. Uh, okay, these are the kind of Archies I look for, so that's really cool. It's Archie 189, Silver Age Archie. Oh, no, more modern. I mean, it's Bronze Age. I like that. Reggie and me, I'll clearly put that in the cool pile. Because it's in pretty good shape for a 25 cent comic. Oh no, we're falling over. Okay, I'm going to move this stack over. Let's see what we got here. Betty and Me, number 37. Another. Uh, Reggie's Wise Guy Jokes. Terrible shape though. Uh, Archie at Riverdale High. Reggie Wise Guy Jokes. I'm putting kind of the tattered ones there and the nicer ones there. Jughead 222, that's a shame. And Jughead, World of Jughead. Okay, so a couple nice Archies for my collection, kind of some beat up ones. Okay, who we got? We got American Flag, Dr. Mirage number six, Marvel Premiere 38. Kind of beat up. I'm gonna put that in the cool pile though, just because it's cool. Uh, crazy number one. Really beat up though. That's a shame. Uh, we've got another graphic novel here. That's cool. All right, we got Empire, the graphic novel. That's actually really cool. Put that in the cool pile. I uh, the thing I like about graphic novels is if I want to sell them, it's really easy. I can just throw them up on Amazon, or if it's something I want. I mean, it's hard to get graphic novels cheap. Uh, Green Arrow, number 11. Justice League, number 3. Put that in the cool pile. Oh. Uh, Batman, number 3. That's worth a little bit. I mean, it's a little bit beat up. It's probably just a very fine, very fine minus. But cool. Very cool. Brave and the Bold, 32. 
I think that's a later printing, but it's still cool. Uh, General Grievous, number one. Radioactive Man, number 412. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, 491. That's cool. This one is cool. I know this one's worth a bit, but... Condition, it's like a very fine minus, so that brings it down. But J. Scott Campbell cover. Amazing Spider-Man, 51. Uh, 49, that one's kind of beat up. And the annual number one. That's cool, though. I mean, that's even in that condition. is probably still like 5 to $8. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars Droids, number six. The Adventures of Luther Arkwright. Not sure. Uh, the Stainless Steel Rat, number one. Uh, artwork looks really cool inside. Very cool. All right. All right, last handful. <laughs> Come on, mega value. Okay, we've got another amazing Chan and the Chan Clan. I kind of like the cover, but I don't like the big tear out of it. That sucks. Thor, 354. Uh, Barbie, number five. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents, number 61. Wolverine, number 77. Uh, Blood Wolf, number two. It's kind of water damage or beat up. Uh, Max, number one. The Darkness, number 14. The Darkness, number 17. Witchblade, number 15. I do like with the Witchblade. Witchblade number 13. Okay, Witchblade number 11. Uh, oops, let me move the stacks. There's no more comics in the box, so it's starting to fall back. Okay, Witchblade number 16. This is cool. This is, uh, it looks dirty, but I think just the comic bag is dirty. The comic stuff doesn't look too bad, but Star Wars number one, the Marvel cover, I think that's like a maybe $8 comic book. Very cool. And uh, number one, the Loot Crate version, which has been opened, so it's not, uh, it's probably worth more sealed, but this is still cool. I don't know if I have that one in my collection, so I'm happy to get it. It's always so hard to look up this issue because there's like a thousand variants on it. It's a little crazy these days, some of the variants. Not the not not that the variants are crazy, but just the number of variants. Yeah, one issue, 50 variants, 100 variants. All right, I gotta look that one up on eBay. I can't find that on mycomicshop.com. I guess the Lou Cray one's going for about five bucks. I mean, that's still cool. Okay, so let's, uh, that's everything. What do you guys think? Do you think I got a good deal? Let me count the good stack. 28, 29, 30. Okay, so in the stack that I consider to be the better stuff, the good stuff, the stuff I'm really excited to get, there was 30 of them, so I ended up paying, what was that, 250 the $3 a piece overall. Uh, not the best deal. I mean, 250 $3 for something like that, or like that issue, or that issue, is actually really good. Uh, you know what, that's not too bad. And then another stack of... You know, 120 or so comics. Even if I... I could probably get a quarter piece if I cleared out the ones I didn't want. I will fill in my collection for anything I need. But even at a quarter piece, that's 25 maybe $30. So I made 50 So it's more like I paid a quarter piece for the junkier ones. And $1.50 each for the really good stuff. Which actually is really cool. I think the Peanuts cover is my favorite. And then the Amanda Connor... Uh, variant cover is my second favorite. That one's really cool, though. I'm really happy I got that. What number is that? I mean, it's not in the best shape, but it's not terrible. Peanuts number nine. It's, like, very good, maybe. Yeah, so I, I saw someone for a similar condition pay, like, $7 plus $3 shipping, so, like, $10. Bucks. Uh, that, that's actually really awesome. I'm uh I'm happy. I think I did well with this lot. What do you guys think? Do you think I got some good values for what I spent? Uh, would you look for a lot like this? Uh, I love finding it. It's more fun sharing with you because you guys can see as I see it. So 
you get to see you know hear my reactions and now if i miss something in this deck that i thought was kind of like the cheaper stuff that's worth 5 10 15 20 dollars let me know i want to know what i missed out and uh you know comment below if you want to see more mystery boxes i it kind of motivates me when you guys enjoy seeing the lots for me to find more i love hunting them down uh, i'm kind of it's like a gamble sort of and it's fun i uh for a lot like this i usually aim for around 50 cents sometimes a little bit more just because i figure at 50 cents a comic i'm not gonna lose out that badly if it's all terrible all right so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please thumbs up and uh if you're watching this for the first time or you see my channel for the first time please subscribe I love making videos and I like hearing from you guys. So leave me some comments below if you want to talk about anything, ask me questions, whatever you want, I'll answer. Um, okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.